Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying a bunch of new products I recently purchased at the VIB sale and stuff that I purchased at Ulta and just a bunch of fun stuff. I have the new Gigi Hadid lipsticks, like everything that's new, at least to me. And I know there are some new products, like this sucker. I love it. One quick announcement, I am doing a giveaway on my other video, the recent one I just posted. I'll leave a link to it down below, so don't forget to go enter that giveaway and I will be giving it away when I hit 500 subscribers, so don't forget to do that. Go and tag all your friends. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know how I like these products, you want to see me apply them and how I do it, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, go like the video, and just keep on watching. First, I'm going to be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this stuff, I've used it a couple times. I actually used it today, and it's super, super good. So I'm going to give my face a mist with that. Then I'm going to go in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Primer plus Moisturizer in one. This is really, really cool and it feels so nice. And I'm just going to go in with that. And honestly, like one pump, oh, it's running. One pump does the trick. Like it's so, so smooth. Feels so good on your skin. And it's just great makes my skin feel so fresh next I'm gonna go in with two foundations I'm gonna go in with the La Mer foundation I am in natural 12 and then I'm gonna go in with the Dior air flash foundation and this is in I don't even know 301 I think that's the name if not just leave me a comment down below and I'll tell you but I'm gonna shake this up and then I have a new um, beauty blender. It's a little dirty on that side. I used it one time. New beauty blender. This is from Morphe. I got it through Ulta though. So I'm going to use that and also I'm and I'm going to use that for the Dior Air Flash and then I'm going to go in with the La Mer on the new Fenty brush. I recently just picked this up and I haven't tried it yet. Brand new. So we're going to see how I like this and I have worn the foundation so this will be a brush test. Apply that. That is applying with super thick. Sorry about my light in the background. It's being super loud today. I'm not for sure why. And also, literally, all that foundation just melted into my skin. I don't know if it's because of the brush, but, like, literally, that did nothing. And it just didn't even go anywhere. I'm just going to dab it everywhere so it doesn't, like, also go up on my face. I will tell you guys, a little chit-chat, that I had... Okay, I filmed my video, the giveaway, and then all of a sudden I broke out in this huge rash and it was all over my face and it wouldn't go away, so that's why I couldn't film for like a week. I broke out to something and I want to say it was the Mario Badescu toner and I had like the acid something one. And like my face has done that once before because I used my brother's Walmart um, face wash and if I used it once I'd be okay. But if I use it more than once, it like broke me out like super, super bad. My skin looks so fresh and dewy. Okay, I'm gonna shake this up. It has like a little like shaker in it. I'm gonna spray this on my beauty blender. Oh, look at this. It's so weird. I'm just gonna dab this on my face. Oh my gosh, it's so weird kind of dark too for me but and so what I don't even know what I was saying okay so I broke out from the toner and it was really bad I had a huge bumps on my face everywhere and it was just awful and it's finally going away I still have like a few like right there right there on the cheek area but it's really not as bad I'm thankful it went away finally but oh my gosh it was it was awful 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 by the way, I love this combination of foundations together on my skin. It just looks so dewy and so fresh and I just love it. Like my skin is literally so, so dewy. I'm just going to pat it in. Okay, next I'm going to take this La Mer powder. Recently I picked this up. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I'm just kind of like, mm, but I absolutely love it. It came with like a little puff puff in it and it was just so cute. I'm going to go with the Morphe Y11 to set my under eyes and 
put that powder in. I'm like looking at my camera, so if you're, I mean not my camera, my mirror, so if you're wondering where I'm looking, my mirror is right here. I'm also gonna put that on my smile lines. And then also, I just got this new La Mer brush. It's like the powder brush. Oh my gosh, talk about soft. Like I don't even wanna use this. Like I literally just wanna like play with it and play with it and play with it, but I'm gonna go in. Oh, it's so sad, it's got powder. And put powder all over my face. Literally, this is like my new favorite brush. I did my makeup in like a crazy order. So next, I'm gonna go do my eyebrows and I have the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in number three. This is what I always use. And I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows. Okay, now that I got my brows on, I'm going to go into the bronzer, and I have a Becca bronzer. This is in Capri Coast. Been using this for the past couple days, and it is so pretty. It is like the perfect shade. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe R2 brush, and this is what the bronzer looks like. It is such a pretty color. Sorry about the mirror; it's like super, super dirty. But this bronzer is such a pretty color. Basically, just make a huge three shape on your face with the bronzer make my neck slimmer bronze it up all you want to make it slimmer next I'm gonna dive into this tar um park of princess I don't even know what that says but I'm gonna dive into this palette it is literally huge I have not used this yet I was saving it for this video oh my Lanta look at that I don't even know why I use that bronzer I'm like so so pretty okay I'm gonna use this to contour with since I accidentally used that other bronzer forgive me I'm gonna contour with the morphe m437 brush this is what this looks like perfect bronzer brush and I'm gonna dip into probably these two deeper shades right here. And oh my gosh, it is so pigmented. Like I hardly touch my brush and it's like bam. And I'm gonna use this. Holy pigment. That is so pretty but so pigmented. I'm gonna have to blend that sucker out. Like, it's so pretty though. Put a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm gonna take my bronzer brush, wherever I put that at, and I'm just gonna buff that out. I am a bronzed goddess, look at this. Bronze contoured. I'm also going to contour my nose and I'm going to use this little brush. I don't even know what it is. It just has like a tiny little like brush head on it. I'm also going to dip into the same two colors right there on the ends. And I'm going to contour my nose. I do my nose so differently than anybody else. Like I'm not even kidding. I'm just going to take this. You got to have a chiseled out nose. Like your nose has to be on full like. This is so pigmented, I probably shouldn't have put this much on. And literally the only thing I contour my nose with is a Kat Von D Shape and Light Contour Palette. So this will be different. I feel like it's like too orange for my nose. Not gonna lie. I'm telling you, I contour my nose like differently than everybody. Then I'm going to go into this VIB Rouge brush and I'm going to take it in these two light colors and put those on my nose to lessen the color. Do this every time, I promise you. Makes my nose all fleek. And 
I just like keep going back and I just like get it to how I want it. That right there is how I contour my nose. Okay, next I'm going to go in with these two colors. I'm going to brighten up the under eye and set my concealer with it and everything. I actually really like how that turned out. It doesn't really look too cakey. So I really do like that. Um, and it really like brightens up this area. And it gives it a nice good look. Okay, in the concealer, I my camera is like did something funky. And so I'm not going to put it in because I like, didn't record it. But I used the Naked Skin Concealer. And then I also used the Morphe Blending sponge beauty blender and i this is like the perfect shape to get under your eye like it really gets that area nice and good and so that's what i used to blend it out it won't be in the video but this is what i used next i have these makeup forever kits and they both have blushes in them recently picked these up i have two of them these are the, the two i have it's three shades i'm gonna use the tartlet toasted palette so i think i'm gonna go in with this middle orange shade right there and kind of go like bold and I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Flawless Light Powder Brush. It's like 50. I don't know. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to dip it into this color and apply that to my cheeks. I absolutely love this brush. It's the first Sephora Pro brush that I own. And it is so, so soft. I absolutely love it and it's just a great brush. Next, I'm gonna go into this Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. This is what it looks like, it has a bunch of fingerprints on it. And oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I absolutely love it, so gorgeous. I've used it a ton. I love it. And I'm just gonna apply this right there. I'm using a mixture of the colors. I'm actually using like those two right there. I'm not using the darker one. I have used it before and it is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. It is like blinding. Apply a little bit to my forehead. I've been doing this and I haven't been doing like the whole C thing. I just have been applying it to my forehead to give it a nice shine. And then right there above my lip, my nose. Give me a Rudolph nose. Yes, please. I love it and this highlighting palette is amazing next I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Mac paint pot and soft ochre I have been using this literally so so much it's just the perfect primer I'm gonna go in with this powder brush again that I used to set under my eyes and I'm going to Pat this in with the extra powder I have just to set my concealer. Then I'm going to go in with the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I have not yet used this. Brand new. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I've been saving it for this video. And then I got rash. And I was like, gosh, dang it, I can't use it. But it's okay. I'm going to set my eyes with the Sunrise Color, which is that one right there. And I'm going to put that just all over my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with cashmere into my crease. I have no idea what look I'm going for today, but I'm just going to wing it and it's going to be great. Next, I'm going to go in with my, and this brush was the M518, I didn't say that. This is just a really fluffy blending brush. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC 221 brush and I'm going to take a little bit of warmth, which is right there, and then cozy right there, and I'm going to put that in my outer V. So today, I went to school. I have three classes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I went to school this morning, and I went to my marketing class, and it was great and dandy, and we just watched ads the entire time. I was like, why am I even here? But, you know, whatever. And then um, after that, I went into my accounting class because my third class already got canceled. So I went into my second class, which is accounting, and I sit down, and there's only one other guy in there, and I'm like, mm, where is everybody? There's usually a ton of people in here, and literally nobody was there. Like, I, there's like a huge room. There's like 50 people in that class, and it was just me and that guy, and I was like, looked at him, and I was like, is our class canceled? 
and he's like mm, i don't think so and so i checked my email and we didn't have an email so i was like hmm no like we still have class and nobody was showing up and all of a sudden a girl came in and she's like um guys we don't have class today i was like what and she goes yeah we don't have class i was like what the i went to school in a different town not that far away i'm gonna go in with fireside by the way i went to school I drove all the way to go to marketing to watch advertisements for 50 minutes. Like, why did I even go today? Like, I pro you guys probably don't even care, but like, I was just like, are you being serious? But I left, I was like, whatever, no class, class canceled. My other class is already canceled for two weeks straight. So I was like, well, it's just great. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E56 brush. This is like a little concealer brush. I'm gonna spray, spray it with some MAC. Six plus. I'm gonna go into flame, which is that color right there, and I'm going to pack that on my eye. So, with the whole class being canceled thing, that's pretty much like how my day went. And then I didn't have to be at work until um, at 2:15, so I had all that time. So I just went to my dad's. I just took a little nap because he lives in the town where my school is and I just took a little nap and it was just great and dandy and that's just what I did. It's probably like the most pointless and boring story ever but I feel like you guys should just know my struggles. Like my classes get canceled so much. Like I'm like, I have never had a class that gets canceled this much. So next I'm gonna take this same brush. I'm gonna kind of just like wipe it off. I'm gonna go back in with more MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna go into Candle right there. I'm gonna put that in on the inner corner. It's like a really nice nude color, but it's very, very shiny. Put out sparkles in it and that is not showing up. That is not showing up. This is like, pure glitter okay let me go with my finger and see if it works i'm gonna spray it with mac fix plus okay i'm not going in with that finger that's way too big what am i thinking i'm gonna go with my pinky okay like it's on my pinky what in the world is this color doing You're like what is it supposed to be I'm getting it everywhere like is it just like a topper like you can kind of see it on camera but like in person I'm just kind of like whatever I'm gonna go with it next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cozy and fireside and kind of deepen the crease just a tiny bit and add just a touch of color to the top and just kind of smooth out all the lines on it Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M231 brush. It's very, very tiny. I'm going to use this to go in on the lower lash. And I'm going to combine these two colors right here. I'm going to put those on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M432 brush. It's just a flat one. And I'm going to use this fireside color and I'm gonna tight line my lashes with that instead of using a liner and I'm also gonna tightly put it on my lower lash line next I'm going to go in with the Dior blackout mascara I just used this for the first time today and I actually really really like it and I'm just going to put that all over my lashes. This mascara is so pretty. Like, holy pip. Look at the difference. I'm not going to put any um, eyeliner in my waterline. I'm just going to kind of like leave it a free-for-all blank and just go with that. Because I'm not doing anything dramatic. I'm just going to use mascara and I don't want my eyes to be like super like closed off. This mascara is so good. Like, my lashes are so long and so black. I absolutely love it. Okay, this is it. I'm going to use the Morphe setting spray. Oh my gosh. Look at the mist on this. Ready? 
It is wonderful. So I'm just going to spray my face with this. I love it. And then I'm going to use this Laura Mercier little sponge and tap it in so your makeup really stays on your face. It really sinks in and just doesn't sit on the little baby hair. You know what the little eyeliner I just got right there? My hair is like so wet now from that um, setting spray. I like sprayed so much. Next, I'm going to go in with this Gigi Hadid lipstick. And this is with a lipstick and a lip liner. And this is in Tara or something like that. And I'm going to use this on my lips. I have not even used it yet. It's still in the package. And I'm going to go in with a lip liner. I've used some of the other ones. Okay, I can't talk. I used some of the other ones, and they're super good. It's super pigmented. Then here's the lipstick. So, so cute. Look how pigmented that is. It's just a really pretty nude lip. Doesn't match the eye look too much, but I'll make it work. And this is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really pretty, except for my little like liner pro or mascara problem. I don't really know what happened. It turned out really good. The only thing was I'm not really a huge fan of that color right there. The Tartland Bloom had a color like that, and I absolutely loved it. But, like, this isn't the same, I don't feel like. Like, it did not show up on my brush, and I went in, and I had to do it with my finger. And, I mean, it turned out pretty, but it's kind of, like, ant for me on that color. But the rest of the palette, I absolutely love. Um, the foundation, I love these two paired together. I think they're perfect. I love the bronzer. This thing right here is so, so pigmented, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, my cheeks are like, ba bam ba bam contoured. Super, super good. And, I mean, like, pretty much everything. Like, this is super creamy. And I don't think I, like, didn't like anything. Except for, like, that one shade in here I'm not a fan of. But, yeah. And this highlight, oh my gosh. It is to die for. So pretty. A little expensive, but super pretty. This brush, I'm not really a fan of this. It, like, this one side I did, and it literally soaked up everything. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about this one. But, yeah, don't forget to go like my video, go comment, go subscribe, go like it. And don't forget to go watch my giveaway. Go enter that and follow me. Don't forget to subscribe. That's how you enter. You also get one entry from following my Instagram. So, don't forget to go do that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.